Okay, so today we will go through the the week the week four descriptive statistic. I'm the instructor Chong Guang Ho, so uh, from the Kunshan University. So this is the master course. Okay, so today we will topic will be the tabular and the graphical display is the continue the last week the the topic. And today we will talk about the uh, exploratory data analysis. This is very important for you. You, if you work working on the quantitative data analysis, exploratory data analysis is the is the is the that uh, a kind of the the data correction. And the you run it, it maybe you you come up some some question question and uh, you. You you want to find the 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 maybe the the research research model and uh, you you can come out to some some uh, some result okay and uh, the second one is a cross tabulation and uh, the the last one is the scatter diagram and also the, today we will cover the 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 example the sp in SPSS. Okay, so the the variable and the, in the in variable we we have the a kind of a uh, uh, very kind of a uh, variable with the independent and the dependent. Also, maybe you you heard about the mediation and the moderation. We will cover in the, this in the, this course. Okay, so the the manager is interested in the tabular and the graphic method. They will help understand the relationship between two variable because now the manager maybe they 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 want to find uh, maybe they have the uh, uh, maybe some reason maybe they will influence the, the the like the company the the revenue growth and uh, maybe they like like em employee uh, work effic efficient. Efficiency, maybe they they like they want to find the the relationship. So this, this is the kind of uh, we this is the tabular graphic method, and the cross tabulation is the method we summarize the data for the two variable. Is the we can find the uh, the 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 some relationship and uh, they show the table and uh, maybe they. The other people they can read the table very easily. And the what's the cross tabulation? This is uh, the the definition. A cross tabulation is the tabular summary of data for two variable. And the cross tabulation can be used when one variable is category and uh, the other is a quantitative. Category means the like the 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 that that and last week. We talk about the, the gender and the, the occupation. This is a, a kind of category. And the both variable are category or both variable are quantitative. So we have a three three condition. We can use the tabulation. And that and top margin level define the class for the two variable. And so later we will have, have some uh, example and uh, you show you and uh, you can understand uh, what this this mean. Okay, so let's talk about the relationship between two variable. Okay, so in the variable is that we can find an independent or independent variable and uh, construct a variable variable table and uh, compute percentage in the variable table. And the deal with ambiguous relationship between variable, and also the now we because a uh, now uh, you are the first year master student, and uh, now maybe you have a uh, uh, a lot of the uh, the uh, the course, and uh, now you because you are you are, you are you uh, you are top maybe in your goal you maybe you need to. Write a thesis, finish 
and uh, they get a degree. So now maybe you need to start to uh, find a journal, journal and uh, find a research topic. It's, I think it's important because now if, you, you need to start to, to find a research and I, if any question I can help you and uh, also in this course I will give some hand out. It's, a, it's a related to the, uh, our research topic and uh, also they, they can, you can use in your uh, re research. And also the property of fiber relationship. This is the the brief and uh, some 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 uh, introduction. And today we will talk about this kind of topic. Okay. So what's the fiber analysis? This is a, a statistical method designed to detect and describe the relationship between two variables. Fiber. Barbed, they mean the, this is the two, the two variable. We, we use the, this, this, this analysis method. And also the cross tabulation, a technique for analyzing the relation between two variables. They have been organized in a table. Okay. Also, I give you the one example. What's the independent and the what? Is the dependent variable. If I we hypothesize the income varied by the level of education a person had, what is the independent variable and what is dependent variable? So next thing about independent is the day is the you can see in this this paragraph you can see the education the level education a person had will influence the income because you see maybe they the the person they, they have a higher education the mean the income maybe have, have increased or decreased this is the way we have the relationship so the independent is education and the dependent this is the the outcome the the the, the output so the, the income this is this is the income is the dependent variable so it's very easy to 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 distinguish between the the independent and the dependent variable. Also, the variable table. This we we put put the variable in the one table. Variable is the table that display the distribution of one variable across the category of Another variable, current variable, is a variable whose category are current of a variable table, and the row variable, a variable whose category are row the variable table. Okay. So cell, the intersection of row and the current in a variable table is we have data. We have the the very very clear explanation. You can understand, understand. And marginal, the row and the column total in a variable table. Okay, so let's show the percentage can be computed in a different way. The column percentage and the row percentage. Okay. And the absolute frequency. Okay, so you can see this table. This is the job support for the absorption by job security. So you can see this table. It absorption is the you can have the yes or no, and the job find ED and the is a two category job find ED, yes or the twenty four, and job find ED, yes or twenty five. So you can see the job find ED. This category is forty four, and the job find ED is. 51, so the total is the 95. Okay, this is the frequency, absolute frequency. And the current percentage, you can see the current. Percentage means the, like the, we talked about the last, uh, last week, is the, like the pie chart, is 
the total is 100 percent uh, so you what percentage in in this this circle okay so the current total this is the you see the this is the 55 and the 49 so you can see the the low total is the 52 okay so this is the 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 total is 100 percent so this is the current percentage And the low percentage, you can see the this one low percentage. Low percentage is the you see the 100, 100, 100. Okay, so we compare the 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 column percentage. You can see the column total is the 100, 100. Okay, so this is the column percentage, and the the, the low percentage is in. In here, 90, 49 plus 51. This is 100, 100. Okay, row total. Okay. Okay. So the next, we talk about the property of the variable relationship. So we have the three question you can think about. First one, does there appear to be a relationship? So maybe you, but later we will talk about the correlation. The correlation maybe we we can find the maybe the the two variable maybe they have a positive or negative, and also maybe they don't have a relationship. So so in here not you can you can send the two variable maybe they. They have, maybe they have uh, three kind of relationship. So and the second one, how strong is it? This is the maybe the relationship is not very 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 strong. So so the, you can we can we can say the and the the next one, what is the direction of the relationship? This is the direction. Maybe a if a then b or if, if b then then A or something is the, the duration. Okay, so in this thing of the relationship, okay. So maybe the the, the two variables maybe they don't have the relationship. So we say it's unrelated. Okay, so other maybe some uh, uh, some case they, they we we didn't find a relationship. So this is an example. Is the number terms are unrelated to the attitude, the word absorption among women? Then we will expect find the equal percentage. Okay, so this one. And then the next one, we will determine the strength of the relationship. Okay. And the direction of the relationship is a positive. This is the binary relationship between two variables. I measure a ordinal level or higher in the variable vary in the same direction. Positive, negative, the opposite. Okay. So you can see this example: the binary relationship between number of firefighter and the property damage. The number of firefighters, this is the independent variable, and the property damage, or this is the dependent variable. Or you can see the, the this is the, they were, the number of firefighters will influence the property damage. Okay. And the spurious relationship, okay, you can see the, Size of fire, and uh, they they will influence number of fighter, and uh, they will influence amount of damage. Okay. And the number of fighter will influence the amount of damage. This is the consider this is the relationship. 
uh, in intervene relationship. It's a control variable. They follow an independent variable, but perceive in the independent variable in the causal sequence. And the intervene relationship, relationship in which the control variable intervene between the independent and the so in the re, in some journal article you can see the some some researcher maybe they control some variable and the, they can they try try the this variable not inference the if they inference they 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 need to to see what's the the variable is strong inference the this independent and dependent this relationship So you can see the this example religion and the stop assumption. This is the in, intervene relationship. Prefer family size. Okay, this is a control variable. And the conditional relationship. A relationship in which the control variable effect on the dependent variable in the is conditional on this interaction, which it with independent variable and the relationship between the independent and the dependent variable will change according to the different condition of the control variable okay so conditional relationship they have the they, we can say that they have a statistical interaction between control variable and the, the independent variable we will cover in the in the later class so today we just uh, Talk about the uh, maybe in the bio-red bio -red and the, the a, a lot of kind of relationships we can you can find in the in the future. Okay, let okay let's continue to talk about the the data for two variable using graphical display. Okay, so the graphical display is the more useful than the table and the recognize pattern and the trend. Okay, display the data in cre creative way can lead a powerful insight. So you can see, see a lot of the like the news newspaper and the, the some article, they 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 put the the graph. It, I think it's very clear for in, the reader to to see the, the what's going on in this article, and the scatter diagram and the trend line is useful is for the relationship between two variables. Okay, so the scatter diagram is a graphical presentation of the relationship between two quantitative variables. One variable is shown on the horizontal axis, and the other variable is shown in the vertical axis. So this is the we can use the SPSS. We we, we can show the the this kind of uh, scatter graphic, and the general pattern of the plot plot. Plot point suggests to overall relationship between variable. A trend line provide a post-mention post of the relationship. Okay. So you can see the trend line like the you can see the like the star market in the some some star 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 trend in this kind of the, the diagram. Okay, so next slide we can see the scatter diagram. You can see the the different highlight highlight this. This is the we can see the slab in this. You can see the is the positive. The slab is the positive. So you can see the maybe the x and y they have the positive relationship. And this slab is the negative. So we can we can. We can you can say this the S and Y is the they have the negative the two variables have negative relationship and this is the slab is the is the zero it's near the zero so we can we can say the S and Y they don't have any relationship unrelated. okay and the scatter diagram you can see the the number of interaction and the number of points score. So you can see the this example, Panzer football team. Now this football team interest in the invest in the relationship between the interaction make at point score. Okay.
So scalar diagram, we later we will show this example. You can put the t the data in the SPSS, and then we can say the we can see the this diagram. It is diagram. Okay. So you can see the the this lab is the positive. So we can we we can say the S and Y they don't they have the positive relationship number of attention this variable and another variable number of point score and the scatter diagram indicate a positive relation between the number of intersection and the number of point score the higher point score are associated with a higher number of interaction so we can say this is positive and the relation is not perfect or Plot point is scatter diagram are not on the straight line. Okay, you can see the, you can see some is not, but this we can say the this is the, the positive relationship. And the, another one side by side bar chart. Okay, so a side what is, what is a side by side bar chart? Is the definition a side by side bar chart is the graphical display for depiction multiple bar chart on the same display each cluster of bars re, re, represent on value of the first variable each bar within a cluster represent on one value of the second variable so you can see the side by side bar chart this is the same as we the less the, the less we will talk about the the, the bar chart in the in, we use the SPSS so we can see the this is the cat have the four category in home style and the, this is the frequency. So you can see the they they have the two cat two kind. You can see the first one is the the income. Maybe the income is less than the ten ten uh, two hundred fifty thousand and the the then another one is the larger than this one. Okay. And the another one, step bar chart. Step bar chart is another way to display compare two variables on the same display. It's a bar chart which, in which each bar is brought into the rectangular segment of the different color. If percentage frequency are display all bar will be same high or extend to the one hundred mark. So we can see the this one. So they they were they were the first one, and then they, they were keep it like the second one. So you can see the just the one one chart, and the, you can see uh, they put together. So you compare the this one, okay? So you can see the they just put the together. Okay, another one is one, and the one another one is one hundred. Okay, percentage. This is the frequency, and another one if you see the percentage, you can show the what's the percentage between two. Okay. Okay, so the next slide we talk about the uh, create. Effective graphic display. Data visualization is used graphical display to summarize and present information about the data set. The goal is to communicate as effectively and clear as possible the key information about the data. Okay. So, so today the course they we cover this is the in in the in your research maybe you want to have the very uh, graph. So the graph is when you show in the in the U article, it must must be very clear, and the 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 reader they can understand what what you mean. So you need to explain what's going on, and then when they see the the table, okay. So they you need to give them the give the display a clear and the con concise title. Keep the display simple, 
clear label each acid and provide a unit or measure. Okay. If color are used, make sure they are distinct. Because the if, if you have the three, uh, like the you have yes or no, so you sometimes you need to put a different color. The reader they can, they can they can know what's the what's the difference. Okay. And the multiple color are, are or line type are used provide the legend. Okay, let's uh, do this example for the we because we talk about uh, the the relationship is a positive or negative. So we do this in the example in the slide. So this example is about the football team, and he he want to find the two variable the relationship between the intersection and the, the main and the point score. Okay, so. So we open the the SPSS program. Okay, so we have the two variable. One, the variable we call the number of number of is number of a uh, intersection intersection. Okay number and number of inter set okay and another one is the score okay so this is the integer so we don't need the decimal okay and the major is the scale ordinal or nominal is okay. Nominal, okay. So we go to the data view. We type the data. The data is the in here. So you can go to the, the slide to one, three, two, one, three, and the score is the fourteen, twenty-four, eighteen, seventeen, thirty. Okay. So we have the five prayer to have the this the their a uh, their score. So now we can use the SPSA to find a relationship. How do we do it? So you follow my step. So we go to the analyze. Okay. And the first one we can can use the you see the correlated correlate. So you can see the correlate and the vibrate vibrate vibration is the we we, we talk about in the slide by Vibrate. Okay, so in the box you can see the two variable. So we choose the these two variable, and uh, in the we can see the correlation coefficient. So first one the Pearson, Kendall, and the Spearman. We can try the uh, so we can we will talk about the uh, in the in the in the data class. So Pearson and the okay so you option so you can the the function is the same as the we do the in the descriptive statistic okay so okay so you can see the they have the one correlation table and the Pearson correlation is one and uh, you can see the this this the you can see the they have the positive relationship and they have a significant significant how do we see the significant is the it, this is about the p value p value is p value is the is less than the little point zero five so this mean uh, this is significant the relation is significant so you can see this 
this 0 0.03, this is less than the 0 0.05. So this means this two variable the relationship is significant. And also the positive, because we, we saw the, this correlation, it, correlation, uh, co correlation coefficient. So this is the 0 0.9 and this is the positive. So this is the positive relationship. Okay. So another, you can do the regression. So we talk about the, the you can show the regression linear and the, the what's the, it, we talk about the independent, dependent. So what's the dependent is score. Independent is the number of intersection. Okay. And the statistic, we can do the R square and also the co competence interval is the 90, the default ones, the 95% and the most also descriptive. And the plot, maybe we, okay, option, okay. So we can do the, this one, so you can see the, this, this uh, linear regression, you see this one, dependent variable is score, and the, the independent is number of intersection, and the R square is the 0 0.81, it is, means 81%, so this means the, the score will be explained by number of intersection is the 81%, so it's very high. And this is the 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 linear regression formula, so you can see the coefficient. So this is the significant significant this one number of intersection. Okay. So also we can draw the chart. We can go to the chart builder and uh, maybe we draw the the line, line chart, and the, the x exit. We put the number of intersection, and the the the, the y exit. We put the score. Okay, so you can show the in here. Okay, so you can see the this. He have the uh, number of intersection one two three. This uh, three category and the, the the number of score. Okay. okay. And also we can do in the analyze. And uh, the descriptive frequency, and uh, we can choose the two, and the chart, and uh, we can do the bar chart, pie chart, maybe pie bar chart. Okay. Okay. We can do this one. Okay. So we have the three and the frequency. We can mean the score. Okay. So score, okay. Yes, okay. Any question? Okay. So let's go to the the next next slide. Okay. After this practice, now you you will know the the. How to run the the SPSS if you want to find the variable two variable the relationship, okay. So the next slide will talk about the use the distribution of data if you want to show the graphic display. So we already talked about the bar chart. Bar chart is the show frequency distribution and the relative frequency distribution for the category of data. So you can see the 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 
the, the bar and the, you can see the frequency and also the next one is the pie chart pie chart is very clear if you want to show the percentage percentage okay in the category data and the dot plot is the distribution of quantitative data over entire range of data and the histor histogram show the frequency distribution for quantitative data over a set of class interval and the, the next one this one is a string and leaf display to show both a rank order and the shape the diffusion for quantitative data. Okay, so you already know the how to the find the relationship if you want to the define the x and y also you can you can run in spss to find the this the positive negative or no relationship okay you can use the scatter diagram and the trend line okay and also the data dashboard is to use the data visualization tool so now sometimes you 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 have to use the some some software 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 maybe they will show the like a key, key performance indicator and the, the manager they can know the what's the going on the this maybe this time the average the the, the in, in the you want to show the the the, the number or, or data okay so the the screen like this one like this one okay so let's go to the summary this the chapter then you can see the data and the data is maybe either is two kind is the category data or quantitative no category is just quantitative data and the category data you can use the table of display and the graphical display table of display just the, use the show the table and the graphical display we can use the bar bar chart pie chart Slide side by side and the step bar chart, okay, and the quantity the same table and graphic. So, okay. So the next example is the the same as we do in the SPSS. The the, the first example. So this is will be your homework, and the and the next week you need to show me the the result, and also you need to. Like prepare and maybe we I will give you some homework to do okay see you next week okay so let's do the 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 final example and this is a practice I already give you the the file is the survey this folder you can open the in the week 4 you can check the the week 4 Okay, we can have the week four. This folder here, the survey, and this survey .sav this file. Okay, so let's before we we do the 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 practice. We we first we read the question using graphic to scribe and explore the data, and this input using the survey .sav to obtain the following graphic. In the first question, histogram of score on the total self estimate scale, and this 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 question is the is 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 for the about the 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 customer set uh, employee certification. So this is the they have the they have used the they want to find the employee and uh, the job certification. Okay. So the sec second question bar graph and the score on the total self atomy scale for male and the female and the call the three age groups and the third question scatter plot of score on age and the total score on the obtained score they, and the, the you can see the primacy this is uh, is uh, valuable and the, the the next question the bar Plus plot of score on the total negative effect scale. This, 
and for male and female, line grab and the total self atomy, scale and for male and female across the three age group. Okay. So now you open the SPSS and uh, you can see the a lot of data and also we first we we read the data the variable view okay so first we we do the first question the first question is the is histogram of score on the table a total cell estimate scale okay so first we find a find uh, this T S L F E S T this one this is the 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 label is the total self estimate okay so let's go to the historic go to the chart chart builder and okay and uh, you can see the histogram in the this one okay and uh, we choose the first one okay and uh, we find we need to find a variable already tell us the T S L F E S T if the bus is too small to you can just uh, can just in just put the your your uh, arrow sign and then you can move okay so you can see the this one okay T S L F E S T so you move in here okay okay so just click OK and we can see the output output again chip builder ok it's not always me ok Uh, maybe we close the output. Okay, so no problem. We open again. Okay, maybe we do again this one. Okay, report survey. Find the survey data. Okay. okay so okay. So now we. Go to the graph, chair builder, okay, and we choose the histogram, okay, and we find the variable, find the variable, this one, okay. Okay, and uh, click OK, and the output will show the what this this output. Okay, so the first question, the answer will be, the diagram will be this one. So this is the histogram. Okay, so let's go to the second question. Bar graph, this and also they have the male, female in the category and they have the three age group 
okay so how do we do it so let's go to the, the SPSS so uh, the same we go to the grab and the chip builder and uh, we see the bar okay and uh, we choose the second one okay in here we choose the first one because we have the or maybe we did it okay okay so because we we need to have the gender so we put the cluster on x in here okay so you can see the have two color and also we have the three group okay the h so we use the h this one okay and also the this the dependent variable total cell estimate okay okay any question okay so we we can see the output will be this one okay so you can see this this chart is very clear so in we this group we have the three category the age 18 to 29 and the age 30 to 44 and the more than 55 okay so and the, you see the different color is blue color is male and the red color is female so and the, the horizontal this is the total self estimate so it's very clear to to see what the what's the difference between the the sex and also the dip, dip, different age okay and the, so let's do the third question scatter plot of score on age and the total score on the obtenance score and the, this is the variable okay so this is the scatter plot okay so let's go to the chip builder web chip builder and uh, we choose the scatter scatter okay and uh, we choose the then we choose the first one or this first one okay and uh, we can see the age oh we maybe we age oh we still need a uh, so the question again age and uh, okay age maybe we put the age in here age in the x x and uh, the total obtenant t and the to c find the variable okay this one okay all set okay so we just click okay so you can see the the scatter plot okay in here so you can see the is a, a, a kind of form a style to to show the the data and also the the next example pass plus of score on total negative effect for male and the female okay so the same we go to the Greg, chip builder, fast plot, okay, and uh, we choose the first one. First one, first one, and uh, okay, so the X is, is the sex. Six okay, and the uh, y is the the total negative effect. So we find the negative effect. Okay, 
So offset, okay, so we can see the this part is the between the sex they have the what's the difference, okay? So you can see the female, this is a big the this the negative effect is the the bigger than a uh, male, okay? And uh, the the last one is line graph or total seven as mean scale for male and female across three age group. Okay, line graph. Okay, so the same. We go to the chart builder. So we go to the line. So we choose the second one. Second one. Okay. This one. Second one. Okay. Maybe this one or oh, this one, okay. And uh, we have the sex, okay, and uh, the different group, eight, okay, and uh, the total cell estimate, the same, the first, the second question. Okay, so we just click OK. Oh, is the this is OK? Total cell estimate, male, female, and uh, the age group. Okay. Okay. Any question? Okay, so this next example is the. Show you how to do the the this different kind of uh, the the diagram, and the, we we already told in the slide. So maybe you you can practice, and the, it's a lot of you can you can see the SPS a lot of function that you can do it. So it's very convenient. If you will learn the this course, you you, you can have the practice in SPSS is is better to to know the, the the statistic okay so see you next week bye bye